On the last episode of Undocumented Human, we visit Friends Fest in Pierce, Colorado. We explore the farm and we take a ride on the ATV. In this episode of Undocumented Human, Can I pet him? Helping Jay and Sarah do some farm chores on a farm that they are working on and she just told me to turn this water on but not to pull it up too fast okay are you ready do I go all the way up That's about as far as it will go up. They're filling up water barrels for the horses. Since it's my last day, I'm just gonna leave them with clean water. Aw, oh, your last day. How do you feel about that? Are you sad? Are you, um, are you gonna miss the horses? You know, I like the work. I like taking care of the animals and like the physical labor and being outside. So I am gonna miss that part. But back at home, hopefully, you know, maybe someday I'll have my own area to take care of, or I can help out other people. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be shit, so I'm gonna remove the shit. I probably shouldn't swear. I can bleep you. Is this the chicken coop? Yes. So the chickens that are in here are actually chickens that Jay and I raised from when they were little babies when they hatched. And then the, these people, this family, bought the chickens from us. about right now so this family just bought about 18 birds from us and they're only getting four eggs um, and they were laying previously when they were at our place so there's been something that's been going on from between being at our farm to being transported here so we're trying to figure out if maybe it's the feed right now the chickens are being fed like I forget what it's called like Dup I want to say DuPont but I know it's not DuPont but it's a GMO feed um, and then what they have been eating, and we were switching the chickens to from GMO to non-GMO. This is all organic non-GMO feed. Um, it's more fine, and this is for the, like, like crumbles. So this has nutrients to make the chickens lay eggs. So the chickens are starting to eat again, because that was the problem that we were running into, is that they are not wanting to eat like the GMO stuff. Some so, people say that the transfer, like just them being in a cage for a short period of time can kind of mess up their It can, but cycle. it's been, 
I want to say it's been two weeks that they've been here, but it might be even three weeks. It's been a while. Like they are starting to adjust. Usually when we first opened that door, once they moved here, they were trying to run out. Um, and it didn't seem like they were doing that today, like when we were right here. So I think that they're getting more adjusted. It might be cold out here, and I don't know if there's as many bugs. Well, and that's another thing too, and is that it's starting to be colder out, so it's a lot less light. But the bottom line is, is that they're not eating, was what it was. If you look at those cans that are in there, you'll see that they haven't really been touched at all. Yeah. It should be a lot lower. I've also but... heard that if chickens poop on their eggs, that their eggs could have parasites. And they know that, and that's why they're just shitting on them. Mm. That's a good point, too. What's good, though, is we just tried... So this feed we brought on Monday, so two days ago, from our place to here to see if it would help out. And you'll notice that they have eaten a good amount. Like, that's a good amount It was right totally there. full. Um, it was totally... It was even over full because right. I, I had a feeling that they would start eating again. Cool. So it's good to see that. Uh, so I'm going to figure out actually where we put the <laughs> Get more. I think and I shouldn't say that it's just because it's this kind of healthy feed that that's why they're eating it. But I would like to think, because I know that there is, I have no evidence to prove that correlation. But in. I don't know. Like, I would like to think it's because I know that this feed is a higher quality feed. Maybe they're comfortable now. Maybe. Maybe the, and it would be nice for them to start eating the other feed, but we have so much left over. And since we're moving, um, the, the family says that they want to buy it. So at least they'll be able to have this kind of feed. Look, it's a Freedom Ranch cage, except for smaller. This is what Adam made for his chickens, too. And they're 70s. There were once good times at this ranch. <laughs> so, Neo just brought me a gross dead bug. He loves his mommy. I'll show you it. He's laughing. We're gonna have a ceremony. He wants to kiss it. I suggested not kissing it, but what do I know? Could just be some kind of indoctrination I have. All right, we're gonna have a ceremony. Let's bury the bug, Neo. Ready? You're gonna bury the bug right here. Goodbye, bug. Goodbye, bug. You had a nice life. Aren't you upset? It's okay, he's gone. <laughs> oh, baby Neo. <laughs> Neo, it's okay. He's dead. Dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go get daddy. I just traumatized Neo. Yeah, there we go. All right, you guys. I'm chopping french fries. Cooking french fries. We're gonna make some hamburgers. Lauren's back there chilling. <laughs> Freaking tractor, it's so cool. Bye, tractor. Are you picking it all up? So, this is what the tractor just did. It is 
next episode of undocumented human so rocket has a you fly can't talk yet, then. Well, you won't be able to rocket has a fly sticky paper ergo fly sticky paper stuck to his fucking ass so this ought to be fun we say goodbye to the farm and head over to our next stop at the we are change house where we check out their garden Join us on the next episode of Undocumented Human when we finish our tour up in Colorado and we begin our journey to Texas. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share.